The seminaries have uh, increasingly found the registry to be extremely helpful. Uh, we're going to give you two really uh, excellent examples of different types of seminaries, as well as of the different kinds of services that we've provided uh, in different positions. You'll hear both of these uh, presidents talk about the value of the process that uh, the registry uses. You'll see in these two instances that in both cases, they were asked to go beyond the original um, appointment period. We bring lots of people who have tremendous expertise. Some already have served in seminaries, but of course, many have served in college and university settings of all different kinds. Are they going to be able to contribute in special ways in a seminary setting? And the answer we have found in all of the cases where we've served to this point is the answer is yes. Well, thank you for this opportunity to speak about the registry. We were in what seemed like a futile search for replacement. So I was beyond grateful when I found out that the registry had expanded its services to include theological schools. And to have on the registry team, uh, Reverend Dr. Bill Nelson, with his extensive experience as our liaison to the registry made me feel confident. We were in a situation where our CFO left rather abruptly. And we were in a situation where we needed to have a new leader in place very quickly. So reaching out to the registry made sense. It made sense because we were able to get a, a new leader in place very quickly and one who was already uh, very well trained and, and very, very qualified for the position and who also really was going to help us to identify what we needed in a permanent leader. And let me just say what a success it was. Our experience with the registry and with Charlotte was a divine gift. It made a lot of good sense for our school to reach out to the registry and to bring in an interim. It saved us a lot of time trying to figure out what exact qualifications we needed. Uh, it saved us a lot of effort not having to run a search, finding someone who was already qualified and who could help us to identify what we needed in a permanent solution when that time finally came. And then also to have someone from the outside come alongside. In this case, uh, having uh, Bill Nelson was extremely helpful to us from the very get-go. He explained the process so well, helping us to narrow down the possible candidates. I felt anytime I had a question about what we were doing or our next steps, I could give Bill a call and he was right there uh, for us. I couldn't possibly come up with a number high enough to rate how important that relationship was for our school at the time when we needed it. It was absolutely transformational. The, all of the people that we had to choose from uh, that were presented to us by the registry were qualified and friendly and just wonderful people. It was great, first of all, that someone of a similar background and a kindred spirit who would know the differences among all these various factors was on board with us. So there was a great deal of trust. Dr. Charlotte's personality, her expertise, her energy, her joy, her wit. She could speak her mind without fear or favor. We extended her contract for 18 months because we were, we were so blessed by how she worked together with us to help us really turn the institution around. I believed we would need an interim solution for about six months. Uh, Kurt stayed with us for almost three years. Everything that I got from the registry was, uh, was timely and quick and professional. It was a fabulous experience. I would highly recommend the registry to others, no question. If I were gonna describe the registry in one word, it would be this, transformational. I'll use two and that is worth it. The registry is noted for many things, but one is its flexibility. Uh, they, the kind of expertise that they bring can cross over, we've discovered, in very, very important ways. In fact, often they bring new ideas that would not be the case if you're just bringing people out of a seminary setting. And uh, 
these two presidents, as well as basically everyone we served in the seminary setting, would echo that and say, yes, go to the registry because they've got the expertise that's needed to make a difference in your institution.